What's up guys, it's Rob here and today we're going to be talking about AMC stock and Sundial stock because both of these stocks are actually up today, they're beating the market. There are a couple of good things that we've got to talk about regarding the futures for these stocks because both of these stocks have something in common. Over the past couple of months, they have been severely depressed in price, right? Sundial's been pushed down, AMC's been pushed down, and to be fair, a lot of stocks have been pushed down. The market's been pushed down, especially small cap stocks, right? This is the Russells right here. It has been pushed down dramatically over the past couple of months. There has been a lot of pain in these smaller market cap stocks. Now, today is actually a green day. If you look at the market, a lot of stocks are green. Most stocks actually took a turn for the best today, and you'll see that in the S&P right here. On the daily chart, we actually moved up dramatically from where we opened and are now currently actually getting bounced out of this little resistance zone from 426 to 430. Unfortunately, we blasted through that yesterday and that's going to pose some resistance for us. And a lot of our favorite stocks, Sundial and AMC, were following for a little bit. Sundial, it looks like, actually just rebounded, got back up above the 50 cent support resistance level. And AMC is, is still on that trend following the S&P. Now, there's a lot that's going to be affecting these stocks in the future, but what's gotten them down this far is so far, well, a lot of shorts, obviously, we're going to look at the shorts, but also a lot of bearish news for the overall market. So unfortunately, these stocks more recently in the past month or two have really strongly been following the market. And you can even see what happened just now with AMC uh, over the past couple of minutes, how that kind of followed the market as well, right? So whether we like it or not, these stocks are going to somewhat track these indexes. Now, obviously, they can have their own pumps uh, based off of catalysts that will likely be coming. But it's not a guarantee that all the time they're going to be just pumping up regardless of the market, right? Typically, stocks do tend to follow the overall trends of the markets. So we want the markets to be green so that these stocks can be green more often than not, right? That's the goal here. Now, it's hard for that to happen in a situation where we're banning Russian oil, where oil prices are skyrocketing, where people are worried about inflation and the Fed raising rates because that is going to be a little bit bearish for stocks. In fact, oil prices rising are very is very bearish for stocks. So overall, there are some worries with you know some of our favorite stocks. But what's important to remember about these stocks is that they do have their own catalysts. They have things going on for them that can be moving them. And eventually, this whole situation will sort itself out in the market. So the prime time to be buying up stocks, in my opinion, is when they're cheap. And typically, they're cheap when the overall market has pushed them down, right? The market's been pushing these stocks down, and their catalysts haven't actually... Uh, really taken hold yet. So we're going to talk about first off the Sundial Catalyst. Okay, Sundial has a lot of good stuff potentially happening even next month in April as Schumer plans to file a cannabis legalization bill. I think that will probably be pretty big news for Sundial as soon as we start really getting serious talks going on about cannabis legalization. And that's really on the forefront of people's minds. I think that Sundial is going to have a heyday, right? Sundial is a retail favorite. And it's not just Sundial that will likely be doing well. A bunch of cannabis stocks will likely be doing well. As soon as we can get these things going in the next bull cycle, it could be really beneficial for a lot of the cannabis stocks, Sundial included. That's what I'm waiting for. But in the meantime, it's worth noting that Sundial has been pushed down dramatically just because the overall market has been pushed down, especially since November, the past earnings call. Another date to watch is the 17th when Sundial is having their next earnings call. They pumped up to 90 cents last time on their on their previous earnings call. They could uh, have another pump potentially, but we'll see what kind of economic environment the past couple of months has provided for this earnings call. It might not be the best. Now, AMC, interestingly enough, actually has a bit of a catalyst happening uh, last weekend, right? We'll see what the numbers that actually come out for this are, but people are aiming for a $100 million box office open for the new Batman film. A lot of people are expecting this to be a, a really big deal for a lot of movie theaters, and AMC is actually taking an interesting strategy with this, right? They're doing a premium experiment, which essentially means they're charging more for movie tickets that are high in demand. So they're going to be charging a little bit extra for people who want to see the Batman film because they expect that theaters will be selling out regardless of if they charge a couple of bucks more in some areas. So they're actually going to be probably collecting quite a bit of revenue over the past weekend and the next couple of weeks as more and more people go to see this movie. And that's not to say that AMC is 100% a fundamentally driven stock, but it is interesting to note that over the past couple of weeks and uh, well, past couple of months and years even, AMC has been becoming a stronger and stronger fundamental play as they were very unprofitable during the pandemic, right? They were losing 315 per share at this earnings call. It's actually interesting to note that they've been losing less and less and less, and they're potentially getting towards a point where they're going to become profitable again. 
and maybe more of a fundamentally driven buy. We'll see if that happens, but they lost 315 at this earnings call, lost a buck 42 at the next one, only lost 71 cents after that. Then it was down to 44 cents that they lost. And this most recent earnings call, they've only lost 11 cents per share. So it is becoming a more and more fundamentally sound buy, especially since the price over the past couple of months has decreased dramatically. There might not be too big of a reason for this many shorts to be in AMC. If you look at the short interest, it's 21%, just about 107 million shares. It seems like as AMC AMC has gotten closer and closer to what it should fundamentally be valued at. More and more shorts have actually been entering this stock, potentially trying to hurt the retail holders. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening to the shorts. But hopefully AMC and Sundial will be able to come back in a big way over the next couple of months. I think we're already starting to see the beginning of it, right? The S&P is up 0.6%. AMC is up over 3%, Sundial is up over 6%, and what's very interesting is it's not just AMC and Sundial that are beating the S&P, okay? The S&P is up 0.6%, but the Russells, IWM, is up 1.6%. So small market cap stocks are actually starting to make a bit of a comeback regarding their uh, larger or mega market cap stock uh, counterparts, right? So we're actually starting to see these small market cap stocks outperform a little bit, which is, is, which is exactly what we want to see, right? We want these small market cap stocks to start outperforming because they've been hurt uh, far, far more over the past year than what the S&P and the larger uh, massive tech stocks have been seeing, right? These stocks from 365 days ago, just about from one year ago, are down about 11% small market cap stocks in the Russells. And the S&P one year ago today is actually up about 10%. So it's a big disparity right there. It's my hope that these small market cap stocks can come back in a big way. And when you see the Russells moving up 1.5%, that also contains a bunch of mid-sized market cap stocks. So AMC and Sundial, which are even smaller, I mean, not necessarily AMC, it's actually a somewhat sizable market cap, but Sundial uh, is going to be moving up probably a lot more than the overall Russells, right? Because it is the micro stocks that have been hurt the most. Uh, oftentimes, you know, you look at stuff like Sundial and 365 days ago where it started at compared to where it is now, it's down 57%, a lot more than what the Russells was down. So in my opinion, I think all of these stocks, a lot of these stocks at the very least, are, have been pushed down way too much. I think that we are due for a big correction to the upside. I think that probably over the next couple of months, as soon as this whole oil, Ukraine, Russia, Fed situation sorts itself out, we're probably going to start seeing the shorts actually get hurt instead of the longs, which will be a pleasant change in a lot of people's minds, right? A lot of people have been waiting for this. I'm hopeful that it can be coming soon. We don't know exactly when, potentially sometime in April when we start to see serious cannabis legalization for Sundial. And with AMC, we'll have to see if it starts, maybe it follows cannabis stocks, maybe it just starts uptrending as the market recovers. We'll see what happens with AMC as well. Maybe they'll have another good earnings call next quarter and actually be profitable. That could be a big driver for them. So we'll see. But other than that, guys, keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. These are just my opinions and some of the news, some of the catalyst, some of what I think is going to be going on with these stocks and uh, take it with a grain of salt. So other than that, guys, uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel and have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.